Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Wet Shaving with Angelo. I'm Angelo, and no shave video, Not this is not going to be a shave video today, but rather a recommendation video, because I already just finished shaving just a few minutes ago, and now a while back, you may remember, I did a recommendation video, two razors that I recommend to a beginner wet shaver. And while I stand behind my recommendations of the two Gillette Super Speeds I recommended, I realized that I had, I had to look back to when I was beginning my journey in wet shaving. And when I started wet shaving, I, w I was not looking into vintage razors. So this video is going to be three modern day, still in production, double edge razors that I, that I would recommend to any new wet shaver out there getting started. And these are all, all three of these razors I use regularly in my shaves and I enjoy using them. And they're, and they're part of my rotation. So let's, we're gonna, and we're gonna start from the lowest price to highest price. And all three razors are very reasonably priced. So let's get started. First razor I'm gonna recommend, the Gillette Heritage Razor. You can find this on Amazon for $35 and, and for the price you get the razor. A package of platinum blades and a and a leatherette case that's that replicates the old Gillette cases of yesteryear, and it even comes with instructions teaching newbies how to wet shave with the Gillette hair, how to shave with a safety razor. I find the Gillette Heritage to be a rather mild razor, somewhere borderline mild, moderate razor as far as aggression, and I've never and it gives a great shave with any blade I put in this thing. So any blade I put in this razor, I get a great shave out of it. I, I can easily get a baby butt smooth shave without any worries of nicks or cuts. And it's an, act, it's an excellent starter razor for someone just beginning with wet shaving. Because there's like, I, I get very little irritation with it. And if you're just starting out and you want to save some money, go to Amazon and pick up the Joy Heritage. Second on my list is the is from Phoenix Arts and Accoutrements. And this is... They're, this is what they call the Flight Satin Double Open Comb. Tra and it's a travel razor because now all the three razors I'm recommending are, are three or, well, two of the, two of the razors I'm recommending are three pieces, which, they, which is the head is two pieces and the handle is one. This razor is a four piece travel razor. The head is two pieces and the handle unscrews if I, if I let me show you, you can unscrew the handle, and you are automatically have a shorter handle if you want a shorter handle. This razor costs on Phoenix's website, Phoenix Arsenal Accoutrements' website, forty five dollars. But for forty five dollars, you get this razor, a packet of blades, a leatherette pouch, and trimmer scissors, and small trimmer scissors. I don't have the letter patch pouch to show you, but it is very nice. And as far as the flight satin DOC, I would say medium aggression. It's it definitely is an excellent shave, and don't be afraid of the double open comb design. It's not going to bite you at all. Like I know a lot of newbies look at open comb razors and they think, "Oh my God, that's so aggressive," but not all open combs are aggressive. And Douglas Smythe has seen the perfect double open comb technology. To deliver an excellent shave without ir much irritation. So, and as far as what part, as, I should go back to the heritage. The heritage is made out of is chrome plated zamac, which is another name for pot metal. This razor is brass on the inside and is double chrome plated. So it's double chrome plated brass with the flight ascent with, with the flight satin DOC. And I love, and I got the Flight Satin DOC from my mother as a Christmas gift last year, and I can, and I love using it. It's an excellent shaver, and I I wouldn't part with it for the world. Now, if you want to go step up, and for my third and final choice, a recommendation, they're from Italian Barber, the Razor Rock Game Changer with the .84 blade gap. This will this. Now, this razor varies depending on what type of handle you choose for it on Italian Barber. It ranges anywhere from $50 to $58. But for, for the price you pay, you get a lot of bang for your buck. This is CNC 
machine 316L marine grade stainless steel. This is going to be a lifetime razor as long as you take well good care of it. It is very, it is fairly aggressive, but I've had very few bad shaves with the Game Changer 0.84 blade gap. Like the only time I had a rough shave was if I had, if I put a blade in it that didn't agree with me at all. But it's very rare I get a bad shave out of this. It's got a lot of weight to it being st solid stainless steel. And, and for the newbies wondering about how much stainless steel razors usually cost, a stainless steel razor other stainless steel razors easily cost anywhere from a hundred plus dollars and up. They they really go up there in price value, but for for fifty to fifty eight dollars on Italian Barber, depending again depending on what type of handle you purchase with it, because you gotta choose which handle you want. The thing you want to realize is this is an excellent shaver, and I would recommend all this and the other two as well as starter razors for any new wet shaver just getting started that maybe they don't want to go the vintage route just yet. Cause I, I remember when I started wet shaving, I had no, I, I had no intentions of, of using a vintage razor or vintage shave soap or vintage aftershave at all. Like I was looking into what were the modern options at my, at my reach. So those are the three razors that I recommend for a newbie wet shaver that I think would deliver an excellent shave for them and I think are good investments. From Amazon, the Gillette Heritage Razor, $35. From Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, the Flight Satin DOC Travel Razor, $45. And from Italian Barber, the Razor Rock Game Changer with the .84 blade gap. Roughly 50 to 58 dollars, depending on again what handle you purchase. So that's all I gotta say for today. It's just a short video today. I want to wish everyone a happy, I want to wish you all a good shave and a good day. Have a good day, everyone.